Greetings. Today, we're going to talk about the ASI system of measurement. Pause, write your goal, so make sure that you are focused and you understand what you are supposed to get out of this video. We have already talked about qual qualitative observations, and you have already probably even done a lab. Today, we're going to focus on quantitative observations. Quantitative comes from quantities. We need measurements, amounts, numbers, and units. This is going to enhance our collection of data. The SI system is based on the metric system. The metric system is based on tens, which is very compatible with our own counting system. Most countries use it. There are only three countries in the world in the world that do not. It was developed during the French Revolution in 1791. Some historians will say that this is probably the only positive thing that came out of the French Revolution. But I'll leave that to your history teacher to discuss with you. The system was adopted in 1875 as a scientific standard, as a standard for all scientists to use. Système International d'Unité is the name, and it, is, it means International System of Units. The SI system is the modern form of the metric system. So it is the metric system, but it's a little bit narrower. It's based on seven base units, and the point is that in commerce and in science, people would be able to communicate so that it makes it easier for people to talk to each other across nations. It is a standard because it is set, and it helps because it is accurate, precise, and reproducible. Here are the SI fundamental uh, base units. Take a moment, pause, and jot them down. You will need to memorize these units of measurement. Let's focus it a little more. We're going to look at SI units, the quantity, the unit, and the instrument that is used. First of all, we're going to start up with mass. Mass means how much stuff there is. Kilogram is the unit that is used for mass. So across the, the nations, scientists can talk about kilograms. When they discuss certain when they discuss certain um, issues or certain experiments, in order to measure mass, we use the balance. Volume is how much space is taken up by a liquid or a solid or a gas. It is measured in cubic centimeters. And one cubic centimeter is equivalent to one milliliter. Milliliters are measured with a graduated cylinder in the lab. Temperature, of course, is measured with the thermometer. And in the lab, we measure it in Celsius, in degrees Celsius, which we later convert to Kelvins because that is the SI unit of measurement. Hmm. Length is measured in meters using, of course, a beater stick. Time is measured in seconds using a stopwatch or an app on your uh, iPad. Energy is measured in joules and it is measured indirectly. We'll talk about that much later in the course. Pressure, another unit we will refer to much later, is measured in pascals, and we can use a barometer and, and then make conversions to pascals. But you don't need to be concerned about that right now. For now, the focus in the lab will be mass will be measured in grams, volume in liters or milliliters, temperature in degrees Celsius, 
length in meters, centimeters, or millimeters. Now, let me show you some conversions that are important for you to know. One liter equals one thousand milliliters. The other version that I want you to think about and remember is that one meter contains one hundred centimeters. Centi meanings 100. And one meter has 1,000 millimeters. Now, let me show you a little clip of some practical aspects of measurement in meters. Now, let me show you a little clip of some practical aspects of measurement in the metric system or the SI system. Now, let me show you some practical aspects of measurement. about measurements in products, in everyday products. Take a look. We have a uh, cake mix and it says 517 grams. It has measurements in English uh, units and in metric units. This one has uh, is the cornstarch and it has 340 grams. One paper clip weighs about one gram. For fluids, we use liters, 3.76 liters. This is 2 liters, it's a 2 liter bottle, 2,000 milliliters. 1 teaspoon is about 5 milliliters. 